Congratulations on the purchase of your new clear mirror. The installation of the shower or shower light is very similar and very simple. Both clear mirrors require a switched outlet to turn on and off. Oftentimes the outlet is installed below the vanity, in an adjoining room, or in an attic space. The shower light includes the power supply and cables while you supply the wiring for the shower clear mirror. The power supply is included. Open the clear mirror box immediately and inspect for damage. Test the clear mirror to see that it heats up. Follow the instructions that are included with your clear mirror. Only wire the clear mirror to the included power supply or the equivalent low voltage system. Determine the clear mirror height from the finished shower floor. A good rule of thumb is to set the top of the mirror at the height of the tallest user. Hold the clear mirror square on the wall and trace around with a thick dark marker, being sure that the thickness equates for 1 8 inch to 1 4 inch for a vapor seal of mastic and your finished grout or latex based caulk seal. Mark the location of the LED lights for the shower light only and remove that area of wallboard. Also cut a small hole for the leads. Test fit the clear mirror to be flush with the tile. Run the included cables from the shower light to the location where you will plug in the transformer. For the shower clear mirror, pull low voltage wires to the same locations. Be sure to secure them at either end. Tile your wall up to the dark outline with the already provided space for your seal and grout line. Complete a test fit with your clear mirror to sit flush with the face of the tile. If you are using a thicker finish material than tile, build out the opening with wallboard to bring the mirror flush with the surface. If you have not done so already, pull your cabling through the openings in the wallboard. With the shower light, you will use barrel connectors coming off the spider connector. It does not matter which ones you use. You should have a connector come out of each light cutout and one out of the center of the wallboard. For the shower clear mirror, simply pull the two wire leads out through the center of your opening. Test the clear mirror again and make sure the heating element and the LED lights are illuminated. Do not use silicone as an adhesive or sealer on or near a mirror. To prevent damage to the mirror backing, use only mirror mastic to adhere the mirror to the wall. See clearmirror.com for sample manufacturers. Apply a liberal amount of approved mirror mastic to the wallboard. It is okay for the mastic to stick directly to the attached defogger on the back of the mirror. Apply a continuous bead around the entire edge perimeter to protect the mirror, as shown. Grab a couple tile spacers and have some painter's tape on hand. Make the mirror connections using the barrel connectors on the shower light and wrap the connection with electrical tape to make sure they stay together. Be sure to do this for all three connections, assuming two lights and one defogger. With the shower clear mirror, use wire nuts or quick connects and make sure the connections are secure and operable. Wrap these connections with electrical tape as well. Push the leads into the wall cavity and firmly press the clear mirror into place. Create a watertight vapor seal. Give the mirror another press into place. Wipe off the excess mirror mastic and use painter's tape to hold the sides against the tile. Allow 24 to 48 hours for complete cure time. Mirror must be caulked or grouted into the tile or surround complete and flush with tile surface. Use only soapy water and your hands to clean the mirror. Enjoy your new clear mirror. Bye.